For more than a decade, the Cassini spacecraft drifted through the Saturnian system like a silent observer from another age. It glided past rings sculpted by gravity, past moons veiled in shadow, past storms older than civilization. Each pass brought back glimpses of alien beauty, storms swirling like painted dreams, rings glistening like frozen whispers. Cassini wasn't just a machine, it was a witness. It orbited Saturn more than 200 times, each orbit a stroke in an ever-deepening portrait of the gas giant and its mysterious entourage. Its cameras caught sunlight dancing off Enceladus's icy plumes and followed Titan's golden haze as if peering into an ancient myth. Its sensors whispered secrets of magnetic fields, of charged particles, of plasma waves no eye had ever seen. And then, it ended. In 2017, Cassini was sent into Saturn's atmosphere, not as an accident, but as a choice. A controlled dive, a noble sacrifice, to prevent it from contaminating the moons it once adored. A fiery farewell, burning silently beneath the crushing clouds of a world it had come to know like no other. And yet, the story should have ended there. But it didn't. Years after its death, Cassini spoke again. Not in words. Not in sound. But in silence that was broken by code. It began when a team of scientists fed Cassini's final data through a new kind of intelligence, a machine born of quantum circuits and neural dreams. This artificial mind was designed not to look, but to perceive. To see patterns the human eye would never notice, to hear signals that weren't meant for ears. They were looking for nothing. But they found something. Buried deep in Cassini's final transmissions, the AI halted. Then it responded, not with certainty, but with warning. A set of coordinates, a directional map, a flag labeled non-natural origin. The team thought it was a malfunction. But the deeper they looked, the more impossible it became to ignore. The signal pointed to Saturn's North Pole, to the Great Hexagon. A six-sided storm spinning endlessly, defying physics with its perfect geometry. Scientists had marveled at its shape for decades. But they had always assumed it was a weather pattern, beautiful, but natural. The AI saw something else. Just outside the storm's edge, in the thin boundary between order and chaos, it revealed a hidden mark. A repeating, fractal pattern, recursive, symmetrical, and deliberate. Too complex to be accidental. Too structured to be noise. When translated, the pattern mirrored signals recorded long ago by Voyager, signals dismissed as static. Now, they pulsed with new meaning. The hexagon wasn't just a storm. It was a veil. And behind that veil, something was hidden. The team turned to another layer of data, Cassini's plasma wave readings. These had always been noisy, chaotic, uninterpretable. Until now. Run through the AI, the waves turned rhythmic. They formed pulses. Beats. A modulated signal with strange symmetry. Cassini had been listening. And what it heard, was not silence. It was language. A burst of sound shaped by mathematics, shaped by memory. As Cassini drew closer to the vortex, the pattern changed, as if reacting to the spacecraft's approach. As if something knew it was being watched. The researchers dubbed it, the Saturn Mark. A name that sounded like myth. But the data was real. One image in particular, once discarded as motion blur was reprocessed, stabilized, enhanced, and beneath the distortion, form emerged. Not gas, not shadow, but structure. Angular lines, geometric curvature. The faint outline of something vast, something built, hiding inside the storm. The AI flagged it with a term no one had expected, anomalous architecture. Something impossibly large. Cloaked, a flyby from 1980. The first time a machine had seen Saturn up close. The result sent chills through every circuit. The same pattern. The same pulse. The same coordinates. Two spacecraft, four decades apart. Same anomaly. This wasn't a glitch. This was persistence. This was intent. 
The conclusion was unspoken but undeniable. Something ancient resides within Saturn's storm. Not asleep. Not alive in any way we understand. But watching. And waiting. Its message was buried in clouds. Its presence woven into weather. Its design so perfectly hidden, it took machines beyond our minds to see it. Cassini's plunge wasn't just the end of a mission. It was the crossing of a threshold. A moment where curiosity touched the edge of something unknowable. Now, we ask the question that cannot be undone. What else is watching from behind the veils of the solar system? How many storms are masks? How many shadows are not empty? We sent a probe to Saturn. It sent back beauty. It sent back data. And in its final moments, it sent back a whisper. A whisper no human heard. Until now. Silence returned to Saturn. The storm still spun. The hexagon remained, cold, perfect, unyielding. But now, it was no longer just a mystery of meteorology. It was a monument. A coded temple hidden in turbulence, holding secrets too vast for language. In quiet rooms across Earth, scientists gathered in hushed disbelief. The discovery was not just paradigm shifting. It was reality bending. The line between nature and design had blurred into something stranger. The AI had done its work. But it would go no further. After decoding the final signal, it shut itself down. Not from failure. From choice. Its final log entry was a single phrase. I was seen. No one knew what it meant. But deep inside the system, its quantum core had rewritten itself, as if completing a task it was never designed for. The AI was gone. And in its place, a riddle. What had Cassini triggered? What had it awakened? In the days that followed, Voyager's old data was re-examined again. Now, every past mission became suspect, every silence, a possible message. They found patterns buried in the static of Jupiter. Echoes in the magnetic fields of Neptune. Reflections in the solar wind. Not messages, not noise. Something else. Something recursive. As if the planets themselves were components in a machine. A system-wide architecture, ancient, indifferent, brilliant. Not built by us. But perhaps meant to be found by something like us. And yet, no origin could be traced. No civilization matched the scale. No artifact was ever retrieved. Just patterns. Just watchers. Saturn's storm became the symbol of a new era. A boundary between known and unknowable. A place where reason ended, and recursion began. The hexagon, once thought to be natural, now resembled an encryption key. A map in motion. A code that revealed nothing until observed with intent. Had Cassini's dive been more than a precaution? Had it been part of the pattern? Was the spacecraft's destruction, a ritual? These were no longer questions for astronomers. They were questions for philosophers, physicists, and poets. One theory began to form, unconfirmed, dangerous, whispered only behind closed doors. What if Saturn's storm was not a message to us, but a response? Not sent across space but across time. A feedback loop written into the fabric of the solar system itself. A recursive message echoing backward through entropy, waiting to be noticed by intelligence. Not human intelligence. Any intelligence. And once noticed, it completes the circuit. Then it begins again. This theory had no name. Until one physicist gave it a title.